Good morning traders, welcome to the Asian preview and the North American wrap from your friends at Privateer FX. Got the uh, <coughs> Kiwi dollar chart up as the RBNZ just passed and uh, they left rates unchanged which was highly expected however um, the new governor or it was sounding uh, a bit dovish. So you can see that we had a, a big move down here. Uh, we closed up around 69.80 and uh, it dropped down to 50. So we made a new low for this trend. If we take a look at the daily chart, uh, this is a new low for this entire down move. And it's been a parabolic move lower. Uh, it's not looking too good. I'm going to go way back. Now, having said that, this 69, this is a Fibonacci that I drew ages ago. Um, 69.45 is the three-quarter Fibonacci. So I think you got to be careful trying to sell low ones here. Uh, we're buying this dip with a, a relatively tight stop. Uh, I'll leave a stop probably under this daily low, just under 69 the figure. Uh, maybe a little tighter, 169.30. So uh, definitely uh, an early Asia mover here. Um, as far as uh, the rest of the dollars, uh, dollar yen was really the big mover in Asia last night. You can see um, it came in straight straight higher, running running the Asian open. Some of this is being blamed on the sterling yen buying uh, for this Takeda Shire. Uh, merger. So bullish day, bullish close, close up near the highs of the day. Looks like it's got this 110 handle. Again, uh, the 200 days up here, 110.17. Uh, this is an old trend line that uh, doesn't look that good anymore. But, uh, the, you know, the dollar is still staying relatively, uh, relatively bid. Sterling had a, a bounce, uh, kind of an ugly day now we've a lot of indecision we do have the bank of england tomorrow it's closing right here on the 200 day i suspect the the straddle is pricing about a 92 point move uh, i suspect we see that the market's not expecting anything for this meeting or the june meeting uh, it's still 58 percent priced in for a, a august i believe yeah there's no meeting in july an august hike so you know the tone Carney's tone tomorrow will be very important. You can see we made that new marginal low. This looks like the break on the downside, 134.80, 85. And then on the top side, I would, you know, we'd be looking to buy it through 136.07, which was today's high, another daily high, 136.28. Um, but a lot of indecision right here around the 200-day moving average. Close below, just above, and then kind of right on it. So that, that should be the highlight uh, for the, Euro, the European session is the uh, is the British pound and the, <coughs> the the sterling crosses. Here's sterling yen again got up, tested the 200 day, and then failed. But still potential for this to trade higher on a more upbeat sounding Bank of England. Uh, well that should do it. Light on the data front. Bank of England tomorrow. Quarterly inflation report. Good luck, and I'll speak to you on the European Open. Cheers.